Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about application of Laplace transform and here primarily I will be solving practice problem 16.6 .6, and this is on the request of a student. So see the problem. This is the circuit here. One capacitor, two resistors, so, uh, independent voltage source and a dependent voltage source. The initial energy in the circuit is zero. So the capacitor energy initially is zero at T is equal to zero. And assume that Vs is 30 UT. So this voltage is 30 UT. We have to find V capital OS. That means this is in the Laplace domain using the Thevenin's theorem or S domain actually. Then we have to apply the initial and final value theorems to find V00 and V0 infinity. And finally we have to obtain the time domain representation that is V0T. That is the voltage across this is V0T. So the first step uh, to find VOS, we have to convert the circuit into S domain or Laplace domain. And I hope you know that uh, this voltage which is 30 UT can be written as 30 over S. No change in the resistors, but the capacitor will have value 1 over SC. Now C is 1, therefore this will be just 1 over S. And with that we add the initial condition or voltage due to initial condition which is represented like this. And the dependence source remains like this. So this is the S domain circuit. Now since there is no initial energy stored in this circuit, we assume that the initial capacitor voltage is zero. So the initial voltage that we had assumed here will be zero because initially there was no energy in the capacitor. So in the next circuit we have eliminated this. So this is our uh, circuit that we need to solve. Okay, so this is the circuit for which we have to find the Thevenin equivalent. Uh, if you want you can redraw the circuit in this manner where the resistance comes toward the right hand side and this is more like a load resistance but this is also load resistance so there is no problem whichever uh, diagram you are comfortable with. Now we know that to find the Thevenin equivalent we have to remove the load so we remove this uh, 2 ohm resistor and then find V Thevenin or V open circuit. So removing this we will find the voltage here which will be called V open circuit or V Thevenin and same in this case. Now I will primarily uh, be using this but if you want you can do the same techniques for the right hand circuit. A very important point uh, if you follow the example 6.6 .6 in the book this is the circuit and the current flowing through the inductor is named IS, IX. And in the condition it has given that the since IX is zero because uh, the initial can, uh, no energy, no any initial energy through the inductor therefore IX will be zero. And the dependent voltage source contribute nothing. Now since IX is zero therefore this voltage source will also be zero. It will be contributing nothing and therefore we uh, represent that as a short circuit. Now this is example 6.6. .6. In our example the practice problem it is slightly different and uh, misleading as well. Now look here since there is no energy therefore no current flowing in the capacitor uh, uh, or the voltage across the capacitor will be zero and therefore we remove this one but ix is still flowing 
through this circuit and therefore this one will not be zero. So this is an important point that we have to keep in mind. Here we had eliminated the dependent source but here uh, we cannot eliminate the dependent source, we will only eliminate the initial voltage source. Okay, so this was the circuit finding we need to find V thevenin. We write the KVL equation through this starting from here minus sign so minus 30 over S I X into 1 I X into 1 plus I X into 1 over S I X into 1 over S and plus 4 I X uh, is equal to 0 taking I X common and solving this is the value of i x that we get now with i x now we can find v tavern by taking either of the loop we can solve this loop or we can solve this loop i have taken the left loop so for left loop now our equation will be kvl equation minus 30 x i x into 1 so minus 30 s i x into 1 and plus V thevenin. So from this equation, now we know the value of I x from here. So we'll put that value to find the value of V thevenin. Okay, so putting the value uh, and manipulating this equation, so V thevenin will be uh, 30 over x and minus I x into 1. So this is I x and solving this we get the value of V thevenin. So we have found V thevenin. Now we need to find Z thevenin to get the thevenin equivalent circuit. Okay. Now there are several ways to find uh, Z thevenin and uh, if you have forgotten or if you have doubt, I will strongly recommend that you watch my video on Thevenin's uh, theorem. I will try to give the link here. Uh, and uh, just to recall, what we do is that we either we can add a voltage source here, one volt voltage source, or we add a one ampere current source, or we short circuit this. Now when you add the voltage source or current source, then this independent voltage source will be zero. But if you are short circuiting it, then this will remain there. So we are uh, short circuiting this and so no change in the voltages. And now our aim is to find the short circuit current ISC. Okay. So from ISC from this loop, we have just taken two currents I1 and I2. You can see that ISC is I1 plus I2. So we need to find I1 and I2 first. Now from here, this is the loop and so I1 will be this voltage divided by this resistance. So 30S divided by 1, so this will be I1, 30 over S ampere. Now from the right loop, we'll find I2. So I2 is this voltage source divided by this impedance, so 4 Ix divided by 1s and solving this will be 4 Six. We put, uh, now from here if you look, Ix is same as I1, so we replace Ix by I1 and we know how much is I1, we have found I1 from here, so we put the value of I1 solving we get I2 to be 120 ampere. So we have uh, found I1 and I2. So adding we find ISC adding the two this one uh, plus this one solving. So this is our short circuit current. Now we know from the Thevenin's theorem that if we short circuit then the impedance can be found by this formula Z Thevenin can be found by V Thevenin or V open circuit divided by the I short circuit. So we have V Thevenin here and we have I short circuit. So plugging in the values and solving this is our Z Thevenin. I hope you can follow this. Pause the video and just see. So this is Z Thevenin. So now we can draw our Thevenin's equivalent circuit. 
this is V thevenin, this is Z thevenin, and now add the load resistance to find out this voltage V O. Simple equation total voltage divided by total impedance and multiplied by the impedance across which we want the voltage so 2. So again putting in the values and step by step solving you can find the value of VO to be 24S plus 0 0.25 divided by SS plus 0 0.3. So this is the answer given in the book. So we have solved the first part. And now we go to part B. Apply initial and final values theorem to find V0 and V infinity. This was our V0. Now using the initial value theorem, we, this is the formula. V0 is limit S tends to infinity. SV0 is, again if you have forgotten the initial value theorem, I recommend that you watch my uh, video on this. Now putting in the value of this one, S uh, multiplied by this, so SS gets cancelled, so whatever is left here. And for infinity we have to always bring S down, uh, th that means we have to divide this numerator and denominator by s so or divide or taking common so we take s common from here so in the bracket we'll get 1 plus 0 0.25 over s and similarly in the denominator we take s common so it will be 1 plus 0 0.3 over s now this s and this s gets cancelled so we have now this value now we put the value of S is equal to infinity, so anything divided by infinity will be zero. So this term will be zero, this term will also be zero. So whatever is left is 24. So 24 into 1 divided by 1, so 24. So this is the uh, uh, initial value theorem. And now we'll use the final value theorem. Similar final value theorem, SVS, the limit changes now from S is equal to 0. Now in this case we don't have to divide by S. We, we can simply put the value of S 0. So uh, this is the answer 24 into 0 0.25 divided by 3 and this is equal to 20. So the B part we have found here and now we'll go to the third part. So the third part is that we have to obtain the time domain value that is V0 T. So this was V0, we'll, we, in the partial fraction form we can write it like this and but we can solve the part, partial fraction. Here also I'll recommend that you watch my uh, inverse Laplace transform video. I'll again give the link. So S V O S and putting S is equal to 0. But this is the equation when we put s is equal to 0, a will become equal to 20. And for b, we multiply by the de uh, denominator of b, so s plus 0, 3 multiplied by vs. This becomes the simplified equation, uh, this vs, so the, this term gets cancelled. So this is the equation and now we put the condition s is equal to minus 0.3. So the value of B comes to be 4. So this is our uh, the Laplace domain voltage and now we uh, taking inverse Laplace transform we can find the time domain voltage. So taking the inverse Laplace transform 20 over S will become simply 20 UT and 4 over S plus 0 3 will become 4e raised to the power minus 0t. So this is the answer and we have ut with both so we take ut common. So this is the final answer. So I hope uh, you can follow this where there is difficulty just pause the visual, uh, video I have given all the steps and you can follow that hopefully. Thank you.